Poetry gives me a lot of opportunities. Uh, I, as was said in the bio, um, in the intro, I, I've been to Alaska three times. And yes, there are black people in Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> I had the same questions as you. Um, poetry affords me opportunities that I would not have gotten, but especially being a hip hop artist. Like there's certain things that people don't want at, you know what I'm saying, certain functions. Like this poem, this brother asked me to write as a prelude to him proposing to his girlfriend. True story. He was like, listen, it's a Christmas party. We will stop the music, and I want you to sit her right next to you, do the poem, and I'm gonna come from the back of the room with the ring, drop to the knee, pop the question, it's gonna be beautiful. I said, slow down. <laughs> if she says no, don't blame me. <laughs> Why should I help you? What kind of vibe do you want though? He said, well, she loves music. She heard me sing, he was a singer. She heard me sing a hundred times, she loves music. So I want you to do like a, a nice love song in the form of a poem. I said, okay. Calm down. I said, okay. Now, there's a lot of ladies in here. All ladies say, hey. Hey! Thank you for the extra stain going. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. And all the fellas said, yeah. 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 Okay, all right. Yeah. So, like, boys quiet. <laughs> At the end of this poem, ladies, I want you to tell me, if one of these fine, eligible gentlemen came up to you and proposed to you right afterwards, just based on this poem, would you be more inclined to say, yes, or do we get a job? You know what I mean? Like, just kind of they say that a song says it best, but I'm a poet. So I say, put your ear to my chest and hear my heart murmur you a message. I've sent it a hundred times under my breath, and it's no wonder you haven't heard it yet. See, you want me to put this to music. Well, that ain't nothing but a thing, except Robert can't really sing. Uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny because like, like I'm thinking about actually when I did this poem uh, at the time, like people thought I was gonna sing. You know, like I was, I was like, ain't nothing for the thing. And I was like, <clears throat> and they were like, ooh, he gonna sing. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> I clear this room faster than a fire drill. <laughs> Nothing the thing except a brother can't really sing. Besides, I don't think a song can capture this feeling I'm after. Strong like the rapture, long like the ever after. In fact, it belongs in the chapter of the Bible. Liable to make it the most read title in the world, and the Bible's already that, so that idea is pointless. Like boiling oysters without first looking inside for the pearl, and this feeling I have inside for my girl makes me want to advertise to the world like, baby, I love you like my mama's home cooking. <laughs> Anytime a man compares you to food, you in there. <laughs> Check that button. Yeah. Now if I did that, I'd probably have all of y'all looking, but you think it would sound better if I was hooking you with a chorus and a vamp. But that to me is like trying to push a Taurus up a ramp. I just can't do it, and that's no bull. I would try to push this to music, but I'd rather pull up my bootstraps, tear my throat, give my face two slaps, and tell you that, girl, I want a father, I want children, forever. I want to sustain this love that we're building. Forever. I want to be the strength in the home that we live in. Forever. And look them in your eyes and put them all together like I want to father our children with the, with the substance of the love that we're building so we can strengthen the home that we live in forever. Triple the mission of the word forever. Then triple down on your definition of the word never. As in girl, I won't ever never lie to you. Just ask. I wouldn't want a younger brother to lie to our daughter. And I would never hide from you because I want us to share our entire lives with each other. And I would never try to do anything I wouldn't want an older brother to do to my mother. And that's real. I can't waste time trying to put a baseline behind how I feel. I'd rather just tell you, girl, I would adjust the temperature in hell for you because you cool like that. And I know you never heard of it like that because you would think hell had a thermostat. <laughs> okay, well, it really doesn't. But the point is... <laughs> <laughs> I'll make what was, is, what is, wasn't, and what is not will be. The sentence is intense, but the question is, can you feel me without guitar strings? I'm picking on your heart strings, picking on your eardrum, blowing through my chest pipes. This number couldn't be sung with the best pipes. I want us to share our worst days and best nights. I want us to wear our birthday suits so we can see what each other's really dressed like. I couldn't put this to music. It just wouldn't sound right. But if you think that this poem would sound better as a song, it would probably 
probably sound like some Isley Brothers. Barry White, after seven hours just in a timber lake, singing 98 degree balance, hot enough to make Keith sweat. Better yet, for you, the angel, low enough to be my brown sugar with a baby face that whips the appeal of all other temptations. I would gladly assure Woo! you, Donnie Hathaway, where Nat King Cole, Dub Brian, McKnight, and we could max well into the night, driving Luther's Van D. Ross might stop us in the name of love, but take my hand in the glove. One will run through the park where Freddie jacked the sun, hit it under his tongue, then sung after dark, which is good, because then we'd be able to see where Backstreet Boys to men drew hills in sync with Stevie's wonders, causing an artist formerly known as Prince, confusing an artist formerly known as Prince, and cause, oh wow, Jack the Wrong Paul. Where are that? Backstreet Boys to Men from Hills and Sick with Stevie's one is confusing an artist formerly known as Prince and leaving a Pwah! Pwah! Get a job, man. I'm gonna get I was gonna give out a free CD, but you know, <laughs> good job, man. I need to pay for it. <laughs> I truly dropped that line. I, you know, I'm gonna get off the stage and come back later and redeem myself, so I don't get, I don't get, I don't get a job. Yeah. So I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving.